All right, good day. My name's Don Tipping. I'm here at Siskiyou Seeds, and I wanted to share um, a little inspiration of what kind of seeds you can plant right now. It's almost the middle of April, and here in Oregon, uh, Western Oregon, our last frost date is usually the end of May. And I know that's fairly common across must, much of the northern part of our country here, uh, where really it's Memorial Day is one of the biggest get your garden in kind of days. So I've categorized some seeds here to share what you could be planting right now to help guide you with your garden. So our root crops like carrots, radishes, beets, onions, it's time for all of those. And you could also include turnips and rutabagas, parsnips with that. Greens, it's definitely time for greens. A lot of the uh, leafy greens like lettuces and arugula and Chinese cabbage, they thrive in the cooler weather. They will grow uh, quickly with the sun, but in the heat of the summer, it's hard to produce good crops. So here I have like a mescaline mix that we direct seed. And mescaline mix is, if you've ever eaten salad mix, it's oftentimes a mixture of different seeds. And you can see here we've got uh, chard, mustards, kale, um, orac, and cress, a whole variety of different uh, leafy greens. So this is direct sown typically for a cut and come again salad. All your lettuces, uh, Swiss chard, spinach, arugula, and Chinese cabbage. A lot of the greens, like the arugula and spinach and lettuces and the mescaline mix, you wanna make repeated sowing. So we usually start in February in greenhouses and then keep moving through the season to have a continual supply of greens. I'm gonna jump up here. This is also time for broccoli and kale and all the other brassicas in that category. Uh, like cabbage and cauliflower and Brussels sprouts. Also, it's your culinary herbs like basil and cilantro. Um, it's time to start those. Basil is very frost sensitive. You couldn't plant this outside. You'd have to start it in a sunny window or a greenhouse to protect it from frost until the risk of last frost is over. However, cilantro, you can go and direct seed this in the ground. Uh, our seed packets and many others have a resealable flap. So that's when I open these, I'm not, uh, tearing it. So there's that's what cilantro or coriander looks like. So I would be direct seeding that. You can see you can reseal these. And then we're going to get on to our fruiting, uh, more summer crops. Peas are a fruit, technically speaking, but you can go and still plant those now. They thrive more in the spring and the fall and cooler weather, snap peas. But it's not too late to be starting tomatoes from seed. This is a heirloom called Cherokee Purple. Or you could be also starting peppers. Uh, zucchini inside, uh, sweet corn, it's a little too early. Generally, sweet corn, you're gonna be direct seeding. I found we can begin direct seeding corn about May 1st. And if you wanna get a jump start on cucumbers right now, starting them inside is a good idea. Otherwise, you'd wanna wait till the risk of frost is over and direct seed them outside. Uh, same with melons or any of the squashes. And then over here, I just thought I'd share a little bit of, you know, here's how we're starting plants. Um, these are some lettuces uh, started in plug trays and I gently, you know, kind of massage it out, but that's a nice plant that's ready to go in. This was started about eight weeks ago. So, you know, there's, we've got lettuce ready to go in. These are uh, kale seedlings over here. Um, this is black Tuscan or lacinato kale. These are ready to go in the ground too. And I want to encourage you to, you know, get your systems together to plant uh, into flats like this, because if you're able to put plants into the ground that you've started inside, you just, you have better spacing, uh, you, you, you have a bigger, stronger plant as opposed to direct seeding. Oftentimes birds and slugs um, can disrupt your little seedling. So I just want to maybe close with the best advice I've ever heard, and I try and share it is, an old Chinese proverb that the best fertilizer is the gardener's shadow, which, you know, obviously the more you're out there, the better your plants are going to do. And it's where your attention goes, everything will thrive. So best of luck to your gardens and health and happiness to you.